Well, you guys, today we had what I would say would potentially be our all-time best hunt we've ever had in Call of the Wild, and that is saying a lot considering we've been playing for seven years. But before we can figure out exactly what happened, we have to go back to the beginning so we can find out how it all began. There's a spot that we found on this map, and honestly, it turned out to be one incredible find. Well, I'm going to show you exactly where it is. Now, as I was saying, this is the spot that we want to head to. Casa de los Reyes. We just spawned in and we got Muley calling right behind us here. Not only that, looks like we got Bighorn all around this mountain. Lots and lots of Bighorn. Yesterday we were out here and we took down a huge Muley buck that walked right past this opening. We literally just barely set up the tent. Turn around and all of a sudden there's a huge buck less than 100 yards away. All right, so so far I'm seeing some bighorn out there. There is a white tail there. We also jumped up a muley right down here somewhere. Now I had a track from him, but it wasn't a huge track, but it was a potential decent track. Yeah, we could take down this buck here, but I don't want to take him down if he's the last buck in this area. Because then all we'll have is does. So what we'll do is we'll wait a good week and then we'll come back here. And if he's still there, then we can take him down. But I would say that if we come back here in a week, there's probably going to be some more bucks. But for the time being, I think what we're going to do is try and get up to the top of this peak here. Then we'll look down there. We might be able to see that muley as well as even the male bighorn that took off down there because we did have some tracks from some decent ram as well so maybe we'll be able to spot them so there are our but oh okay okay now explain this to me did this buck literally just spawn in here or was he just in the brush and now he stepped out either way that is the buck that we want to take it's a max weight buck and he's a 200 plus Gold potential whitetail. But this view is awesome. Alright, so right now we're just kind of scanning to try and find that muley as well as that bighorn sheep that took off before. Now, since we're not seeing him, we're going to get ready and go for a shot on this beautiful buck. Alright, lay down, Chase. It's going to be about a 250 yard shot here. Yeah, that's him calling right there, as a matter of fact. And a perfect shot. He goes down. Very nice. All right, remind me to come back here in a little bit and get him. But for now, we're going to stay up on the high and keep scouting. Overall, though, that was a very nice shot. And a good buck down. Here he leaves. Well, let's pick him up. It's going to be a gold, a 196.38 gold. Then we pulled off a perfect double lung shot at 220 yards. Right on top of the heart there. And got a beautiful white tail down. All right, so we're heading up to the top of this mountain here. And I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to work our way all the way down along this point here. And try and end up somewhere over here where eventually we'll end up potentially where these muley bed. Well, it's always super exciting hunting a spot where you've never hunted before because honestly the anticipation is so great and you just don't know what you're going to see. There's a chance you might not see anything, but there's also a very small chance or maybe even a pretty decent chance that you might see a head mount buck. Well, we made it to the top and I honestly got to say I was not expecting it to look like this. This is incredible. So we already just got eyes on our first muley up here. We got a muley doe right there. But then if you look over here, there's a wide open plateau where we can see for miles. And I'm pretty excited to go check it out. I'll show you again where we are on the map in just one second, but we gotta be careful because one wrong move and we go way down. All right, so here we are on the map right here. Uh, Chase is actually stuck on the bottom of the hill. He didn't want to come up here, but we are right over here overlooking this canyon. Well, that's kind of cool. Got a call from a coyote over there. Now we don't have the AR-223 to be able to take him down with because we happen to have the tent on us. 
So if he's big enough, we could always set up the tent and grab the rifle that we need. Right now, I'd rather not fast travel to a tent and it get disappeared by the beavers, so we decided to keep a tent on us. Why does that look like an outpost? There's a pole there and everything. You're telling me there's an outpost there? No way. Well, we'll check that out in a second, but for now, let's take a look at this coyote here. There he goes, there he goes! Oh, he's a decent six. Not huge, but decent. And that is going to drop him. Right there. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. So let's go check this out and see if it is, in fact, an outpost. Because if it is, like, that's going to be wild. And I'm pretty sure the coyote was bedded right about here. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a couple over there. All right. Well, we'll look for them in a little bit. Trust me, we got all day. But here's this coyote. Nice right lung shot at 150 yards. And he, he was actually a solid coyote. For a six, that was a solid one. But a very nice shot. Took him down. All right, so we're getting a lot of action up in here. And uh, honestly, I think what I want to do is set up the tent right here. Then we will check to see if this is in fact an outpost but it seems like it is what are the odds that there's an outpost right here well i'm very thankful for it i'll tell you that because now we can literally just fast travel right to here oh wait do First shot was too high, but the second shot was money, and there was another buck in there. I wasn't sure which one to go for. Another buck as well. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on them. That's what I was looking for. All right, so this white tail is piled up right here. It's showing non-vital hit. We only hit it once. Okay, so I thought the second shot connected, but it looks like the first shot... Is the only one that did we got him right in the spine as well as intestine he's a good one a 182 and he was just shy of gold but a solid buck oh we got a nice canyon ahead of us here a nice canyon take a look at this we literally have a nice pond down here and then wide open spaces with a buck wide open spaces with a buck and there's a giant buck down there Holy, look at the rack on that thing. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful buck. There's a lot of deer down there, actually. I can't even see them, but they're just popping out all over the place here. All right, well, we're going to try and get a shot on this giant whitetail. But that's so cool. What are the odds of that? We're way down here on the very back end of the map here. Again, if you look at the map, the very uh, southeast end of the map, I have Paso de los Desquemados. And, and there's a lake right here with the whitetail drinking from 8 o'clock until 11 in the morning. Right now, it's about 9 o'clock. So it's perfect time to come down here. But we were actually planning on finding some muleys down here. So I'm surprised that we got eyes on whitetail. I mean, that's super epic, to be honest. Coyote! Way the heck out there, coyote. We're talking 450 yards, and though we could take that shot, that coyote looks like an absolute monster coyote, so we are not going to be taking that shot. It's too risky, because it could be a diamond. But for now, let's try and find this huge buck. We found him. There he is, right there. He's got a minimum estimate of 200 to 240. And he's pretty broadside right there at 350 yards where is he going okay he stopped and now he's moving again and he stopped and that is a perfect shot oh there's the muley i knew they were up here somewhere watch them they're cutting through they're cutting through right there right there right there I hit the wrong button. 
There they go. So. So. And I think another dough. Yep, all does. All right, well, there could have been a big buck in there. And a bighorn sheep. Another bighorn. Uh, that's another bighorn. Decent one, actually, a real decent one. Female. Holy, there's stuff taking off everywhere up here. Oh my god, look at all the whitetail coming now. Got a small six-pointer there. Another giant. Oh my god, where the heck did this thing come from? You gotta be kidding me right now. And another huge buck way the heck out there. 380 yards out. But wow. We're going to potentially be able to stack up two giant whitetail side by side right here let's check the hunting pressure it looks good and we did just that we dropped him right there as well another massive whitetail oh another 180 plus whitetail buck holy look at the size of that thing there okay now this thing is about 350 and oh i don't really want to take down this buck <sighs> tell you what what i do want to do is set up this tent here somehow uh, i don't know if we'll be able to put it up there that'll work that will work we just barely got in the nick of time something trying to pass this here it's a nice book Oh, we got him! Perfect shot! Oh my god, we were zero for 300. I can't believe we even hit that thing. Hopefully we didn't shoot him in the spinal cord. Oh, I think we might have. And some more muley calling down there. Holy animals everywhere. It is gonna be... A spine lung shot. Whew! Look at that. Double lung spine shot. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And he's a 188 white tail. So a little shy of gold, but a beautiful, beautiful white tail right there. But first, we got these incredible whitetail bucks right here, and we're going to try and get a cool picture. Oh, look at that buck sitting there. <laughs> I mean, I suppose he wants to be in the picture too, huh? All right, buddy, come on. So we'll have him sit right here. And yeah, we'll go with that. You know, I don't mind that. That'll do. That will do. So here's this buck. It's going to be a double lung shot at 350 yards, 216 gold. Oh, I'm not even sure which one this one is. I'm not sure if this is the first one or the second one, to be quite honest. But uh, either way, he's a beautiful whitetail buck. 350 yard shot and a perfect double lung. And then we got this buck here. And that is going to be a 350 yard shot as well and a perfect double lung shot. 212.79 gold so you can see we did have a good bit of raise we're zero for 320 and we are pretty much holding for upper lung which honestly we should have had a ton of drop but we basically hit the exact same spot that we were aiming for at 320 even though this is 350 yards but another incredible white tail buck is down so we just set up the tripod here to get a better look and we actually spotted one of the coyotes right there. It happens to be a female. Holy, we got a small buck coming towards us as well. I don't see the other coyote, but I'll tell you what, we're gonna go for a shot on this one. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, I can now though. <laughs> Rolled him right over, and we're getting a call from a bobcat as well. You guys know what that means. We're going for the shot. Plus, we're up in a tripod, too, so we're not going to have any hunting... Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I think we hit it, but yeah, we definitely hit it. We couldn't really see it, so we kind of just shot into the brush there. Although... That's what all the shots are going to be like, because you can't see anything in here. Look how thick this is. This is prime territory for monster muleys to be bedded. And I mean prime territory. 
Holy, I told you there was a big buck here, you guys. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, my God. That's a giant time potential muley buck. Look at the rack on that thing. Oh, wow. I am absolutely stunned at this moment. We got a huge four easy buck out there another huge four easy and a giant five medium dime potential muley he's not even dime potential i would say that's a guaranteed diamond look at that rack wow okay i have no clue where he's gonna go but i do know that we were just down over here right and we got a call from that muley um, right over here. I wasn't sure what it was, but apparently it had something to do with that one. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is find the exact location of where these muley are bedded at. And if we can do that, we should be able to pinpoint where we can come out the next morning and be able to get a shot on this giant dime potential muley. Oh my god. Am I pumped? All right, guys, so I thought I'd bring you back in along the journey here. So basically what happened is we decided to go over here on top of this hill. We set up a tent right here. And from here, we can observe all the way over to this lookout tower here. So we can pretty much cover this whole entire valley down here. And I was just going to say that we haven't found a single deer yet. But now we just spotted a doe right there. Now that doesn't really mean much, but it could be the same herd that has those three giants in. However, this is kind of the view that we have from up here. The last place that we spotted him is right here, coming up this way, all the way to the top of this hill. So he could be anywhere potentially bedded up in here, but with the rack the size of his, he should stand out a mile away. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys, we actually set up two tree stands, one right here and one right here in the initial spot that he crossed past. All right, so right here is his track coming up this hill. Right. Hold on a second. See, this is where it gets confusing. Because these tracks here are going back down. But that's fine. I kind of want to backtrack this thing. You know what? Let's do it. Let's actually backtrack this thing and see if we can't figure out where it came from. Bobcat. All right. We got more tracks here. What did we just find? Oh my God. Jackpot. Absolute jackpot. Right here. So that means... We're going to be able to set up in this tree stand. Um, seven in the morning. So we'll have to get here around five thirty, six o'clock. And when he's done feeding, if we can't potentially call him in, he's going to come right past underneath one of these tree stands. That is going to be awesome. I'm so glad we found the spot. I'm so glad. Okay, now that we found that out, we can come back here tomorrow morning and get ready. Okay, so I thought I had a pretty good idea, but then I got an even better idea. Take a look right here. This tree is overlooking the meadow of where this giant dime potential buck is going to be feeding. So we're going to set up this tree stand right on the edge of this plot. And let's take a look at what it's going to be like. Whoa. That's them right there. That is one of the bucks in the herd with our giant dime potential mule deer. That means he's going to be stepping out any second now. We got a coyote there. We got a big buck there. There he is. There he is. Oh my God. There he is. Wow. There he is. Okay, so he's not going to be coming in right now because... Uh, pretty sure there's a bobcat that's spooking everything right now. 
But what is going to happen is tomorrow he's going to be bedded or potentially even feeding right out there less than 50 yards away from us. Wow, am I excited to come back here. I honestly haven't been this excited to hunt a spot in a long time. Like, this is wild. Alright, just so we can make sure that we're still on, we're going to take a shot on this female bighorn. Oh yeah, we are definitely spot on. All right, guys, let's get back out here bright and early tomorrow morning. And we better be ready because, oh boy, this giant is lurking right around the corner. All right, guys, we just got to the top of this mountain here and no way. Take a look right there. Is that not the coolest sight you've ever seen right there? Look at that, three monster muley bucks, including a giant diamond right there. 260 yards out from us, as well as a pretty nice bighorn sheep right there. Now, we happen to have our tree stand set up right there. The only thing is, the wind is blowing directly. Oh my god, I can't even believe this. I can't believe how cool this is. Look at that. Oh my god, he's a giant. But as I was saying, we can't really get to our tree stand right now since the wind is blowing right towards him. And now we have a white-tailed buck coming out here too. Ooh, look at the rack. Look at that. Yeah. There's not much we can do right now, aside from sit here and watch him from afar. All we can do is hope that the wind blows a little bit more to the north, and if that becomes a thing, then we can make a move and get into our tree stand. But until then, there's nothing that we can do. Aside from sit here and watch. All right, so we've been sitting here for a good 15 minutes now, and the wind is slowly shifting a little bit more to the north. Not only that, these bucks are also shifting more to the south. So that means the wind should be blowing off to the right side of these deer. Now there are some deer right down below us, which those might potentially be able to catch our scent, but our big one is not. Right now we're easing our way down this mountain here. Ever so slowly. Until we get stuck between these two rocks. But now we're back to our stealthy pace. And there they are right there. So we got to get to that tree right there. All right, here we go. Luckily for us, it's getting pretty thick in here and we have a lot of cover to be able to prevent us from getting spotted by these bucks. We happen to have a tripod set up right here. And the reason that it's there is actually because we needed to um, clear some inventory space. Okay, so there's that buck there. He's only 150 yards out from us. That means our tree stand is less than 100 yards away. And right there lays our tree stand, less than 20 yards away from us. Wow, we are almost in and my heart is beating like crazy. We're getting so close to this massive giant diamond buck. He's absolutely incredible. Okay, so before we get in, we're actually going to set up our collar here. That way, if he for some reason isn't close enough or whatnot, we're gonna potentially be able to call in this deer right past us here. Now, I think we'll put it right over there. That would essentially bring him into less than 25 yards out from us because he would have to go right underneath us all the way to that collar and even if he stopped halfway he's still gonna be super close all right guys it's all coming down to this moment right here this is the moment that counts 
Let's get into our stand and get ready. Oh my God. There he is. I can't even believe this right now. This is just absolutely wild. There's the other big buck there. And remember, we have our rare albino right over there. As well as another monster whitetail. But this buck is right here, 80 yards out from us. That's another giant four right there as well. Look at that thing. Holy. All right, so he's just out of range. We can shoot 50. Not that I would recommend it, but we could. So I think at this point, the only thing we can do is turn our collar on and hope that he comes into range. He picked up his head. Come on, big buck. Come on. Oh, 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 my God. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's 70 yards out right there. Holy, look at the size of that buck. He's an absolute giant. Alright, so he's hanging tight back there. And these deer are all coming past us here. But he's slowly working his way in. He's actually coming in perfect. We got him right there at about 55 yards. We got does all around us here. The caller's not next to us, so I'm not sure why these deer are coming right to us. But this giant buck is right there. 50 yards away. If he comes 10 yards closer, we'll have a shot. Oh my God, here we go. Here we go. He's 45 yards right there. All he has to do is turn broadside. And we'll have a shot. Not a good angle for a shot. All right, we gotta turn this collar off. I'm not sure if a bobcat moved in or what happened, but whatever happened is definitely spooking this buck. The wind is not horrible. But I don't believe that that's kind of the factor right now. Oh, he's 50 yards out. No, don't do that. Okay, he's gonna bolt. Yep, he's gonna bolt. And that's okay if he does. That's okay. As sick to my stomach as that makes me feel right there, I would much rather have him bolt just like that and us not taking a shot to risk potentially messing it up. I would much rather not have that happen. And I do think that the wind actually slowly shifted back, not in our favor, and started blowing back to the south here. So as he got closer and closer, the wind kept shifting and eventually he caught our scent and as you see they all busted us we had a perfect setup but i think the only thing that we might have messed up on is we probably should have put our collar back there a little bit further right back there because then that buck would have potentially came in but you know what there's a chance that that buck probably would have stopped here and we wouldn't have had a shot either way so i don't think that would have worked out either so then I'm pretty sure if we did that, they would have no reason not to come into that opening there, which would be about, well, less than 40 yards. And if he stopped right in there somewhere, it'd be even closer. Okay. All 
Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this tripod. All right, well, uh, that could be the problem there too, guys. We got two bobcats lurking around. All right, now we just got to find these things. There should be two of them. Got one right there. Now we got to find the other one. Uh, we're not passing this one up, I'll tell you that. Alright, he's down, and the other one should be taken off over here. Throwing the Hyperion back on. Watch for him, watch for him. Well, he called right there. But I never saw him come out. All right, we really need to get, oh, there he is. We really need to clear some of this hunting pressure up here because it's getting pretty intense. But we had to do that. Absolutely had to do that. We may actually leave this tripod up here for now so we can spot better. Well, that can help us clear out some pressure. We decided to go all the way across the map on the north end over here by Bell Bampo. And we have a couple of muley right out here feeding. As well as a whole herd of whitetail. And that happens to be a giant. Two giants. But one monster. So we for surely need to take out two. But uh, yeah, I'm not even going to reload this thing. Because we can't. We don't, I don't really want to lose this zone out here. Alright, we're looking at 330 yards. And that shot was absolutely money. He's going down and... We'll take down this buck as well. Oh. That was a nice shot. That's all three of them. Okay, cool. And here is our monster whitetail, a 208 gold, and we pulled off a 335 yard incredible shot, but it was so far that we actually didn't have enough penetration to go through and get double lung. We're talking right over the top of the heart. Absolutely beautiful play shot on that giant buck. And what a heck of a cool bonus, huh? What a heck of a cool bonus. All right, so we will track down this one as well because he didn't go very far at all. I thought we might have hit him too far back, but in reality, we hit him pretty good because he didn't go 20 yards and piled right up. So it must have been liver. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Spine liver at 346 yards and a 191. Nice 10 pointer. Okay, so with that, we should be good to go as far as hunting pressure. Let's take a look. Much better. Much better. All right. Well, it's a moment of truth. And this time, how about we make it happen? All right, guys, it's day number two now. We're back out here right where we last set up that tripod and take a look at this incredible view we have right here. So we have the tripod here so we can observe kind of the situation that we have to deal with and this is what we're going to be looking at right there is the herd and that is of course our giant diamond muley he's right out there 250 yards away feeding of course with this whole entire herd of massive bucks and again we don't have a good win so we're gonna to have to be patient again we're also getting a call from another muley down there which is not really a concern but uh yeah, this time it seems like the mule deer are more off to the left side, which is better. Because if you notice, there's nothing on the right side of our stand. So if the wind blows a little bit more to the west, we will honestly have a pretty awesome setup. Not only that, we have the collar set back here, so they're going to come right past us while still having an incredible wind. 
So basically, if he gets another 50 yards this way, it's going to be perfect. But for the time being, we'll just sit here and wait. All right, guys, we're about 50 yards out from our tree stand here. And as we get closer, we're actually noticing that the wind is majorly in our favor. And I'm so glad for that to be happening. We're getting super close right now. And this buck is right around the corner. Now remember, we move the collar back this time. So when they come in, they're not going to be able to stop and cut your scent like they did last time. Also, the wind is almost perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. And we're in. No way. What a perfect setup. 65 yards away right there oh. okay guys let's get this collar going and get this buck to come in all right so any minute now they should start feeding their way over this way and coming into the call why do I hear something behind us of course. Where the heck did you come from? She's going right to the call. The wind is still good though. All right. So they're not interested in the caller right now and I'm not sure why. We'll have to entice them a little bit. There's no way they're not going to come into the call. He's going to bed down at 60 yards away from us. The wind just keeps getting better and better. All we need is for these deer to come into the call. Something came in back there. Not sure what that is, but. Oh my God. Finally. They're coming into the call. I don't know what made them want to come in all of a sudden. But all of a sudden I just stopped recording and looked to see this guy coming straight for us. He's 50 yards out and closing. Oh, he's coming through perfectly. Oh my God. He's 45 yards out right there. The wind couldn't be any more perfect. All right, we'll let him come just a little bit closer. Unbelievable, look at this buck. No way. He's 30 yards away. He's 30 yards away right there. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to come right underneath our tree stand. He is 22 yards away. He's honestly a little bit too close because we're going to have to shoot directly below us here. We smoked him! Quartered away, 25 yards out, and that giant diamond is going down. He's down right there. Oh my God. God, we got him. What a buck. Holy. We took him right there at 25 yards, and that is a vital hit. Whew. What a rush. What an absolutely unbelievable moment that was right there. I would love to try and get this buck as well. 
All right, this buck here is 65 yards out. A little too far for a shot. But we could take him if he was not quartered away that much. Yeah, we can't get a shot now, I don't think. Oh my god, or can we? Oh, I think we got him a little bit too far forward. Where'd he go? Oh, we got white toe better in there too. Look at that. Dude, that buck was almost smoked. Well, we'll be able to put a follow up on him, I believe. What? Well, I to miss that first shot, but uh, definitely didn't miss that time. I'll tell you that. All right, guys, I'm absolutely pumped. We've been sitting here for an hour and a half and we finally got him to come in to less than 25 yards away and then he starts trotting. So we had to take a shot right when he slowed down at the last second and we smoked him right here. He was standing right there and he ran 100 yards away then piled right up just when he got to the brush. Oh my God, that was awesome. We got him. We put so much time and effort into getting set up on this thing. And it finally paid off. Because here he lays. Right here. Look at the size of this buck. Let's pick him up. Oh my god, that's going to be our biggest diamond ever. A 340.6 giant diamond muley. 462 pounds and we got a 25 yard lung and spine shot holy that's incredible that's our biggest buck ever that right there is our biggest mule deer of all time look at the spread on that thing we waited so long to take this shot and it paid off big time unbelievable buck kind of upper to mid long on the other side there so you know we're shooting from a tree stand down it's a solid hit a really solid hit because if we would have got any lower there's a chance we could have hit intestine and not gone through the penetration to be able to get lung uh, but yeah man that was absolutely epic taking our biggest diamond ever out of a tree stand with the new recurve bow and just smoked this buck Holy, what an absolute rush that was. What an absolute rush. I don't know what is up with these collars right now, but they're definitely not working properly. I'll tell you that. Because we waited for 30 minutes. These deer did not come into the call whatsoever. And then all of a sudden randomly, they started coming right to us perfectly, right? But then they got 25 yards out from us it was literally gonna be the most perfect setup ever. And what happens? He decides to turn straight away from us and walk right along that brush row. Well, there was nothing we could have done. We couldn't stop him. All of a sudden, we had to hope that he would slow down and he did that. That's all we could do is hope that he slowed down. So he slowed down for half a second. We were at full draw. We didn't really have too much time to really be down and get a perfect shot because he was gonna step another time and he would have been absolutely gone. So that's why we hit him a tad bit high because we didn't have it centered on him perfectly, but I knew it was good enough to take the shot. And we got him. Holy, did we ever get him. Man, what a buck. What an incredible, incredible buck. And our biggest mule deer we've ever gotten with the true racks. That's our biggest one right there.
Well, you know he's getting mounted for sure. You know he's getting mounted for sure. He weighed 462 pounds. Well, we got him. We got him. All right, so now let's go find that other mule deer that we shot over here. Yeah, I guess it was here, huh? I do want to find out where we hit on that first shot with the bow. I think we honestly pretty much drilled that buck right in the shoulder. But overall, a 65 yard shot like that, that was pretty solid. And there he lays right there. He's a big buck as well. A real big buck. Oh my God. Okay, our first shot was a 77 yard shoulder blade shot. It was absolutely perfect, but we were just a little bit too far forward on that shot. Then we got him on the run, 234 yards right in the neck. And that's gonna be a 246 gold. What a heck of an incredible save we made on that buck right there.